today's Coach's Corner, we're going to talk about shot selection and what is a good shot. I think this is something that everybody in the stands has trouble with, but your players have trouble with as well. They get frustrated when they, you know, why did you shoot that shot? What is it that you were thinking, you know, if they miss it? But if they make it, it's like a hero thing, like, yes, we did it, that kind of thing. Uh, we want to develop shot selection in our players, and we want to be able to get them the right shot so that they can be successful. And that means our team can be successful too. So what is a good shot? This is something that you need to really define for your players and not expect them to know what you're thinking all the time. Now, the way that we do it, a simple way that we do it, is we developed a, a philosophy of the three R's. <clears throat> and those three R's Whoops. The first one is range. So are you in range? And how do we know if you're in range? Well, part of it is the shooting test that we use. It's a 10-minute shooting test called Bronco Shooting, where players start in close to the rim, shoot some easy shots, everything from a mic and drill to a layup. Uh, to elbow shots, free throws, and then finally three-pointers. And they have to make a certain number of three-pointers in order to be distinguished as a green light shooter in our program. Now, if they're a yellow light shooter, they have two-shot limit, and a red light shooter, they're not shooting it at all. But how do you get them to know what their range is? If they get to the elbows, and that's where they're struggling in that shooting test, then that is the very farthest that you want them to shoot. If they never make it back to the three-point line, they shouldn't be shooting a three-pointer. If they don't make it to the elbows, they need to shoot inside the paint area. Uh, if they're struggling with getting outside of the paint, then you know that they need to, it has to be a post-up, has to be a put-back. But they're the ones who are deciding what their range is because the shooting test that we use, that gives them a good ballpark uh, number uh, a good ballpark as to hey you had 10 minutes to do it and you didn't make it past it it's not me telling you not to shoot it's you've proven that that's as far as you can go and it really becomes ownership of the player if they want to get to shoot different shots better shots that that are open for them they need to do better in that shooting test so it's a way for me to put it on the players and not to have to uh, be telling them but explaining and working with them so that they understand so the first one is range the second thing that we want to do is make sure our players have rhythm. And rhythm means that you're comfortable with your shot, uh, you're not fading right and left, you're not fading backwards, uh, you're not being guarded so closely that you can't get your shot off the way you want it to get off. You've got to be in the general flow of your shot. Sometimes this takes a little bit of film to show them, hey, this was a good shot on this trip because that defender was three feet away from you. This was not a good shot because you faded away or because the defender was right up in your face ready to challenge it. So even though you shot it from the same location, the difference between a good shot and a bad shot is dependent on you fading or where the defense is. So that's a way for them to start to learn the game too. Players can break this down on their own if you have game film. Tell them they love to watch themselves. So tell them to watch their shot and th grade themselves as a, this was a good shot or this was a bad shot. It's either one or the other. And then offer a couple of times where kids can come up and they can show their shots before practice or they can sit down with you in a meeting and you can go over that so you know what they were thinking and then you share what you're thinking as well. It's a great way to create communication and trust between your players. So we want range, we want rhythm, and the last thing that we want are rebounders. Do you have somebody in place to rebound it? Now I've never been a coach who said don't shoot the three on the break. Okay, I might have a 40% three-point shooter, and he comes down on the break, and he's going to shoot that. Is there somebody in front of him who has a chance to rebound it? Now, they should have players sprinting down the floor to get in that position, but 40% means you're missing 6 out of 10. And if you have no one there to rebound the 6 misses, then it's not a shot that we necessarily want to take. Now, given the time in the game, given different circumstances, there may be some exceptions to that. But generally speaking, even my better shooters... You want to drive it to the hoop because it's a higher percentage shot. You're going to have a chance of getting a foul rather than stopping and shooting unless it's within your range. 
you have rhythm, and you have your rebounders. If you say you have all three of those things, then in your mind, and in mine, it should be a good shot. The only way for players to learn this is to make sure that you're going over it, you're talking about it, and you're giving them examples of it through game film or through when they took a poor shot or took a great shot that you're reinforcing what you want or you're taking away what you don't want. So when we talk about shooters, we're talking about those three R's. The next thing that we want to do is make sure that we're always ready to shoot the ball. And this doesn't fit in our three R's, but it's something we talk a lot about, is having your legs loaded and be ready. So if it's a drive and a kick, if it's a skip pass, that we don't have to worry about you dipping down or getting ready. You're already there, and you're, you're going to shoot that as soon as you get it. Now, that ha has more to do with the mechanics behind it, but we want to make sure that our players are ready to shoot all of the time. So getting your players to know what a good shot is and what good shot selection is, Whatever system you use, make sure that you're explaining it, you're allowing them to give you feedback on it so you both make sure that you're on the same page. Otherwise, you're going to find yourself really frustrated at the end of a game or within a game because a player is shooting shots that you don't want them to take and you feel like they should know that. If you haven't taught them and you haven't asked them, you can't assume that they know it. That's going to come back to bite you every time. So, coach, check out Bronco Shooting. I'll put a link below if you want to look at that and see how you can develop your shooters. But giving them the range, the rhythm, and the rebounders as a guideline, I found is a great way to start the dialogue and to start to get your players shooting their shot, the one that you want them to take and they have the best chance of making. All right? Thanks, Coach. We'll see you at the next Coach's Corner.